If you're a stressed or anxious person, you've probably felt that tension in your body. You may have said, I, feel, I carry the stress in my shoulders. When I'm stressed, I get a neck pain, I get a headache. Um, and there's two reasons for that. One is that your brain will subconsciously try to show that emotion through body language. So you can show the people around you, your fellow primates, that you're one stress monkey and they either need to help you out or get out your way. And the other part of this is that your brain is going to allow the muscles to come under more tension, under they have more tone as part of the fight or flight response. So that, let's say someone suddenly grabbed my hand, as they stretch my bicep, you're gonna get a little stretch reflex that comes up to my spine, back down to the bicep, and will reflexively jerk my hand away from them before my brain has time to register what's happened and create a movement pattern to either fight them or run away. So you would have seen something similar, perhaps in my office or in, in, uh, in your other healthcare professional's office, where they tap your, your arm with a, with a hammer and you get that little reflex. So effectively that's what's happening is that that tone in the muscle increases. So we can measure that in clinic. Um, and that's when you see people tapping and we say, wow, you, you know, you're really, you're tight, your muscles are tight. So what can you do about it? Well, I mean, that's a book right there, but one of the best things you can do is slow your breathing down. So we want to breathe 10 or less times in a minute. So a great way to do that is breathe in for four seconds, out for eight seconds. So. and repeat. And what will happen is as you do that, that fight or flight response will go down, the tension in the muscles will come under more control from your brain and it will say, chill out, I don't need you to be so tense. Hopefully that's some use, have a good day.